Research on Piagetian tasks indicates that thinking becomes more logical and abstract as children reach the formal operation stage. What is an educational implication of this finding? Letter A engage children in analogical reasoning as early as preschool to train them for higher order thinking skills hots. Letter B let children be children. Letter C expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. Letter D learners who are not capable of logical reasoning from ages 8 to 11 lag behind in their cognitive development. Minors, tourists, and visitors are generally not subject to local government taxes as they do not reside permanently in the area and thus do not benefit from these services in this. An educational implication of this finding is to expect and support the development of hypothetical reasoning in learners between 12 to 15 years of age, as this is the period when they begin to develop these advanced cognitive skills. So, the correct answer is letter C expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. The proper care and maintenance of instructional materials is an important part of the teaching learning process. Each material has its own proper use and care. In general, rules must be observed with regards to these instructional materials. Which of the following is not one of the rules? Letter A dull-edged tools must be sharpened regularly. Letter B tools materials must be kept at the right places where they should be. Letter C use only tools which are in good condition. Letter D use hand tools, equipment for all purposes. Using tools for purposes other than their intended use can lead to damage and potential safety hazards. Hand tools and equipment should be used only for their intended purposes to ensure safety and proper maintenance. The rule that is not appropriate regarding the proper care and maintenance of instructional materials is letter D use hand tools, equipment for all purposes. Which of the following does not characterize fascism? Letter A militarist, nationalist, and dictatorial regime. Letter B rigid hierarchy and authority of single leader. Letter C, a government of laws and not of men. Letter D, it justifies any of its means by its end. Fascism is characterized by militarist, nationalist, and dictatorial regimes, rigid hierarchy and authority under a single leader, and the justification of any means by its ends. However, it is not characterized by being a government of laws and not of men. This phrase describes a system where the rule of law is paramount, in contrast to fascism, which often centers around the authority of a single leader and arbitrary rule. So, the correct answer is letter C, a government of laws and not of men. When philosophy started, man thought logically inside his mind forgetting external physical reality, such that he believed no one can step beside a river twice. What stage of reasoning is this? Letter A, metaphysical reasoning. Letter B, deducting reasoning. Letter C, positivistic reasoning. Letter D, inductive reasoning. The statement, no one can step beside a river twice, reflects the idea that the river is constantly changing, as is the person who steps beside it. This notion is attributed to the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus, who emphasized the constant change and flux of the universe. This stage of reasoning involves thinking about the nature of reality and existence in a way that goes beyond the physical and observable world delving into the abstract and fundamental nature of change and being. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A metaphysical reasoning. Beanie Joanna showed a video segment of a dance in Salomon, Salomon to her pupils without a follow-up activity. Thus, the pupils got low in the test. What does this imply? Letter A video induces alienation on the part of the learners. Letter B video promotes mastery of the lesson. Letter C video makes viewing enjoyable. Letter D video is effective when learners attain the lesson objectives.
The scenario implies that simply showing a video without a follow-up activity was not effective in helping the pupils understand and retain the material, leading to low test scores. This suggests that for a video to be effective in achieving lesson objectives, it must be accompanied by activities that reinforce the learning. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D video is effective when learners attain the lesson objectives. Your department would like to purchase a computer set as your project. Which of the following advantages of computer will be your last consideration in purchasing it? Letter A it can be used for entertainment. Letter B it can be used for research activity. Letter C it can enhance the teaching and learning process. Letter D it can be used for interactive presentation. When purchasing a computer set for a department project, the primary considerations should be how the computer will enhance educational and research activities, as well as its capability to facilitate interactive presentations. Entertainment, while a potential use, should be the last consideration since it is not directly related to the educational and professional objectives of the department. So the correct answer is letter A can be used for entertainment. This guidance service to help students carry out their plans and act on their choices so that they become adjusted to their chosen field or career is called. Letter E information, letter B placement, letter C follow up, letter D counseling. Placement services in the context of educational guidance are designed to assist students in making informed decisions about their educational and career paths. These services help students understand the requirements and opportunities in various fields, facilitate their transition into chosen careers, and ensure they are well prepared and appropriately positioned to succeed in their selected fields. The goal is to help students effectively implement their plans and choices leading to successful adjustment and integration into their chosen career or educational environment. So the correct answer is letter B placement. A philosophy that believes in prior learning for what the learners already know is blank. Letter A essentialism, letter B behaviorism. Letter C constructivism, letter D naturalism. A philosophy that emphasizes the importance of prior learning and building upon what learners already know is constructivism. Constructivism posits that learners actively construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experiences and reflection on those experiences. So the correct answer is letter C constructivism, which is the language medium of instruction from K to three in accordance to Republic Act 10,533 or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013. Letter English as official language, letter B language chosen by the school. Letter C mother tongue of the learners, letter D language to send by parents. In accordance with Republic Act 10533 or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, the language medium of instruction from kindergarten to grade three is the mother tongue of the learners. This approach is intended to improve comprehension and learning outcomes by using the language that children are most familiar with during their early years of education. So the correct answer is letter C, mother tongue of the learners. Learning to learn is best seen in these skills. Letter A to read with understanding. Letter B to ask and gather data. Letter C to process and select information. Letter D to listen and observe. Learning to learn encompasses a variety of skills that help individuals become effective, self-directed learners. Among these, the ability to process and select information is particularly critical. So the correct answer is letter C to process and select information.